Do you know the various types of mountain and plateaus in Nigeria? The plants that grow in the highlands and the foods people in the lowlands eat? Welcome. A topic today is the physical features of Nigeria. Physical features of Nigeria. Now, Nigeria is located in the tropics. We are going to discuss about its geographical features. What are geographical features? These are landforms such as mountains, rivers, and valleys that make up the surface features of an area. So the mountains in Nigeria, the rivers, the valleys, these are geographical features that actually make up Nigeria. Now, continuing, we have seen that Nigeria have highlands, plateaus, and hills, which include Adamawa Highlands, Mambila Plateau, Jos Plateau, Obudu Plateau, the Niger River, the River Benue, and the Niger Delta. So these are all the geographical features in the country. Now, let's look at countries that surround Nigeria. We have Bene. We have Niger, we have Chad, and we have Cameroon. So these countries, they border and surround Nigeria. Famous rivers in Nigeria. We have River Niger and River Benue. You can see the image from the map, okay? River Niger and Benue come together at the confluence town of Lokoja in Kogi State. So that is what River Niger and River Benue. These are the two major rivers in the country. So they flow from the west and the east, and then they come together at the confluence town of Lokoja. Okay? Now, these rivers form a Y shape representing uh, Nigerian's coat of arms. We have said that Abuja is the capital city, the largest uh, city in Lagos, and then the second largest in Africa after Cairo in Egypt. We have said a confluence. Confluence town is where two or more rivers meet. Okay, that's a confluence town. So in the course of this lesson, we are going to talk about highlands, lowlands, and valleys. So what are highlands? You can see the image of a mountain. This shows a highland area. In the map of Nigeria, the Jaws, the Kano, the Sokoto, the Bonu, Taraba, they are all highlands. Highlands are mountains and plateaus in the middle belt and in the north. So highlands are mountains and plateaus in the middle belt and in the north, okay? So these are highland areas. And then they are cooler. They are cooler because the higher you go, the cooler the air becomes. So mountains, plateaus, and hills that you find in Nigeria include Adamawa, Joss, and Obudu plateaus. Plateaus have flat top. Okay, a plateau is a highland with a flat top. Then you have Mandara, Shebeshi, Mambila, and Atlantica Mountains. You have Udi Hills in Obinago, in Enugu, and then Urban Hills. We have Udi and Urban Hills. So these are all the geographical features that you can find in Nigeria. And then what's a valley? A valley is a land that is surrounded by higher areas such as mountains and hills. So in between two uh, in between highlands or between hills, you can see a valley. Valleys are very rich, okay? Valleys are very rich. They are fertile. They have plenty water in the soil. So most farmers, they grow their crops in the valley. Now, the difference between hills and mountains, you will be wondering. First is that hills are easier to climb than mountains, okay? But uh, officially, there is no difference. When you see the two, you might not be able to differentiate, but just that for hills, you can climb them easily, but for a mountain, it's not as easy as climbing the hills. Okay, now uh, we want to say that the highest peak, or you can say the highest mountain in Nigeria is the Chapalwadi. The Chapalwadi Mountain in Taraba State, Nigeria. You can see the image before you. That's the Chapalwadi Mountain in Taraba State. That's the highest mountain, or you can say the highest peak in Nigeria. Now, lowland areas include all the down parts of the country. When you look at the map, the very down parts, the Edo, okay, you have Delta, 
you have Osun, you have Ogun, you have Venugu, all the lowlands. So the southern and southwestern Nigeria are the lowlands in the country. So they are flat, they don't have much hills compared to the highlands. So the lowlands have lots of forests. People farm, they cut trees to make paper and furniture. Then they have crops like yam and cassava that they grow. Fishermen, okay, they do a lot of activities because it is close to the sea, okay? They have plenty of rivers and so on and so forth. So now let's review the topic. Let's review this topic, the physical features of Nigeria. First, we have said that landforms such as mountains, rivers, and valleys, they actually make up the surface features of Nigeria. So you can say these are geographical features. And we have countries that surround Nigeria. You have Bene, you have Niger, you have Cameroon. Then you have the Atlantic Ocean at the southern part, okay? Now, there are natural resources that you can find in the lowlands. That is the southern part of the country, okay? You can find the uh, timber, you can find rubber. But in the highlands, there are other natural resources like tin, coal, gold. So these are the things you can still find in the highlands of the country. Then Ogun and Osun are lowland areas in Nigeria. Then River Niger and Benue, they join together at a confluence Okay, and the town where they joined is known as Lokoja in Kogi State. Now, climate gets cooler in Jos because the higher you climb a mountain, the cooler the air becomes. You can always draw a map of Nigeria identifying River Niger, River Benue, okay, identifying highlands, states that have highlands and states that have lowlands in the country. Then it's very important too that you finish up with your work and try to upload even after making a drawing of the map of Nigeria, including all the geographical features or few of the geographical features, then you upgrade them for marking. So we have said that Nigeria is surrounded by the Republic of Niger and Sahara Desert in the northern part of the country. Then you have the Republic of Benin in the west. Then you have the Federal Republic of Cameroon in the eastern part, that is the eastern part. Then at the southern part, you have the Atlantic Ocean. And Nigeria have the largest population in Africa, we are over 200 million people. We've said that River Niger and Benue is the major river in the country. Okay, so try and finish up the, the assignment and answer all the questions in the test book on exercise 39 and 40. Thanks for watching this video.